Zico's Afro on it right now. Whoa, the Mew Mew <laughs> Kitty Cat <laughs> gates are now open. Well, you did whoa, whoa, say whoa, the stakes whoa. are higher, right? <laughs> the stakes are higher the than ever. The stakes are not that high, okay? <laughs> when we get to Springland, maybe we can discuss it. But until then, guys, let's settle down here for a second. Come <laughs> there on. it is. Mew Mew Kitty Cat's going to be on the composition that they look so fantastic on. But Jamili instantly receiving pressure. Curious to see how this plays out. Basically, Jamili just needs to win one series out of three. That's all he's got to do, and he's going to qualify for the spring finals with his team, Mew Mew Kitty Cats. Can they pull it off? They have to take down the boys, potentially, or they have to take down the Super Frogs. And if they don't manage to do that, then it is going to be a grudge match against Colo for that last spot at land. So far, things not looking too great for Mew Mew Kitty Cats as the boys establish a pretty big lead, getting that Avenging Wrath of Rub Cub pulled out of the way. But a swap to Gorecki. This is what I love from this team of Mew Mew Kitty Cats is their pressure on healers. That Holy Paladin of Rub Cub always adding in a little bit extra spice. Yeah, well, we actually did see M2KC one of the reasons that they were able to beat the Super Frogs is they took down the composition the boys are running. They just put a lot of pressure on a Cubsy. Now we see a lot of pressure on a Gorecki. I think if M2KC can continue this assault, Gorecki could eventually fall. The thing teams really can't calculate is Rub Cub on the Holy Paladin with that added Hammer of Justice as well as some of the additional damage he's able to bring and really throw these Restoration Druids for a loop. Curious if Thugonomics is running that Mana Rift strategy. I can only imagine that he is. It's the main reason why you would take a Demon Hunter into this fight. Although we saw Mew Mew Kitty Cats take out the Super Frogs when they tried to run the Demon Hunter Death Knight. And I'm curious to see if they can do it here against the boys. Currently, Roasty setting up crowd control on Gorecki. Maybe trying to get a sap on his trinket. Grecky comfortably sitting through this with Thugonomics now having Blur activated. Desperately trying to avoid the kidney shot of Roy Roasties. Now securing a double stun. Rub Cub needs to get ready for this. He is pushing forward aggressive to set up the team and is falling behind on heals, falling behind on mana. The boys continue to establish an advantage. Curious to see how Roasties tries to navigate this. Potentially going after Thugonomics and a smoke bomb as an option. Kidney shot, smoke bomb. How much damage do they have is now the question. Is it going to be enough to force any major defensive cooldowns? Not even an iron bark. That's going to hurt. I feel like Jamili kind of wasted his combustion a little bit earlier on. There was no kidney shot commit. There was nothing. There was no smoke bomb. And he just threw out the combustion. And because of that, during their next attempt, they didn't really have the damage available that they needed. Unfortunately for M2KC, things are falling apart just a little bit right now as they find a kidney shot on the Thugonomics. But Gorecki in such a good position should be able to easily keep him alive. Hammer of Justice is found. Jamili, can he find any follow-up crowd control? Unfortunately, he cannot. A Vanish Sap coming in from Roast. He's covering him. Now they have huge pressure on the Thugonomics. He's looking to get away. Metamorphosis is used. He still has the blur, but Ultimate Greed turning around the pressure on the Roasties. Ultimate Sacrifice comes in from Rub Cup to keep him alive. KC barely stays alive. Close call for the boys as well. Ergonomics is tearing in right now. It's really devastating the amount of damage that he is able to do at this moment in time with two members low. Roasty's trying to set up for a big push. Gorecki, how are you going to respond? Blur available, still caught in crowd control. Thugonomic stash is over. Surprising to not see the reverse magic. I guess Rub Cub already stunned, not wanting to overlap the diminishing return. It wasn't necessary, so he's going to play it patient, hold on to it for later. Rosties has Vendetta rolling. He really wants to force something with that, but he's just not finding anything on the side of the boys. And now Rub Cub, he's almost totally tapped on mana. Potentially they have to go for some aggressive blessing of protections, but even then, there's a lot of spells that can just go through that in the composition that the boys have brought in game number one. Rosies gets stunned up behind the pillar. He's rotting down. Jamili, the target of choice. Pressure onto two fronts. Rosies goes for the all in on Gorecki. He's really disrespecting the swap. Bark Skinny at half health during that moment in time. Manages to get away with it for now. Potentially an opening for Mew Mew Kitty Cats if they can hold on a bit longer. Yeah, Gorecki has a lot of greed, but he's also been one of the best druids at surviving these kind of very offensive pushes from enemy teams. Gorecki trinkets out of the blind. Rosie's looking for some more pressure as he sprints over, looking to get some damage rolling. Thugonomics, Maxon still trying to get some pressure on Jamili, but during this split situation, Jamili has a lot of control that he can throw out. In the meantime, it's difficult for Gorecki to actually get the spells off just because of the fact that Rosie's always has that kidney shot. He can threaten him. He gets out of form. He gets caught into a kidney shot. That's when Jamili can blink in and start getting some damage rolling. So. It's a difficult situation to be in for the boys, but at this point, they've almost hit the finish line. Rub Cub almost completely tapped on mana. M2KC really struggling with this Demon Hunter Death Knight composition that's available. What are they going to do? Gorecki gets Hammer of Justice. Roasty's running over, and I just don't think they have the damage to take him down. 
The Gorecki's going to be completely fine getting into bear form. Barkskin still available as well as Renewal. In the meantime, Roasty's getting low. Jamili also, Rub Cub using the last little bit of mana he has left to keep his team alive, but things are getting out of control for M2KC. Qualification on the line here. Mew Mew Kitty Cats just need to take one series out of three today, and they will make it to the spring finals to compete in an international setting for North America. Now it's looking solid with decent pressure on Thugonomics. Byers Maledict absorbing a lot of Gorecki's heals. He's almost tapped on mana. Rub Cub, though, equally so, is totally tapped and low on health. Thugonomics smells blood. Trying to go after him a little bit, then immediately actually going back onto Jamili. Combustion popped. Smexon saves Thugonomics with the anti-magic zone. Thugonomics doesn't care. He's just going to jump out of that. That's a pretty risky maneuver, but possibly nets him a kill. Yeah, sometimes the best defense is a good offense, and they force Jamili into the ice block, immediately exiting the safety of that icy cocoon. Now finally going to be in a little bit of trouble as he dips lower. Roast sees actually Thugonomics. He trades out the darkness. <laughs> Jamili just hanging on by a thread. It gets interrupted. Rub Cup throws in the ultimate. Thugonomics! Oh, holding on. Is he going to die when he's at 1%? Oh. He's at 1%! Thugonomics holds on for a couple more seconds. Jamili holds on. Cut. There's no way. There's no way Thugonomics dies here. It's so close. Blind on Gorecki. Full blind on Gorecki. How is Thugonomics healing up during this moment in time? They, oh, they were so close to taking it, but now it's looking like a triple kill for the boys as Rub Cub holds on to any semblance of health that's left, but it's not enough, and the boys take game one. What a weird end of a game that could have been. If we are pack rats, if you are Zach, you're in the chat right now with all of us just watching with that hashtag <laughs> TB and that hashtag SF. This has got to be such a stressful situation for them as they're watching these games play out. And the Mew Mew Kitty Cats are finding themselves on the back foot. Rub Cup instantly going to be opened up. Yeah, what is Jamili going to be able to get done on this Arcane Mage? Who are they going to be going after in this matchup? Gorecki comfortably sits the blind. Now a sap. Thugonomics taking a little bit of burst damage, but... I don't know, I'm not entirely sold on it for an Arcane Mage. I think a Demon Hunter and a Death Knight, they can actually stay on top of you. They can, they both have ranged interrupts, they both have high mobility, a lot of snares. So far it doesn't look like Thugonomics and Smexon are gonna be going after Jamili, although I do think it would be a decent decision. I know that Zico has talked about before that sometimes the best strategy against an Arcane Mage is completely ignore him and maybe the lack of counter pressure Jamili really has available will just allow Thugonomics and Smexon to sit on Rub Cub and really burn him out of mana quickly. I'm still wondering why they picked Hook point unless they are really intending on out mana in Gorecki and denying his drinks perhaps they can out mana him with access to the arcane mages spell steal as opposed to the other mages it costs a lot less mana and you've got the MK to reset we see a blinding light as rub cup tries to set up a push here for the team thugonomics the target iron bark trades quite effectively Gorecki actually getting caught in a polymorph Nice attempt by Jamili. That opens up Thugonomics as a target. If he can continue the chain of polymorphs, this is the second one. Need to look for a third one. Darkness exchange, but fairly so for the vendetta of Roasties. Now that darkness has faded, but so is the crowd control on Koreki. It connects a big heal. Thugonomics charging forward, but with Rub Cub's Avenging Wrath, I think it's unlikely that we see him go down unless we see multiple interrupts in a row. He has Divine Favor accessing that. Catching a heal. Caught in a triple stun. A bit of a blunder here by Whoa. M2KC stacking up. And now under devastating amounts of damage. Divine shield exchanged. And that is the most vital defensive cooldown to survive on a paladin. It's out of the way. And the boys continue to dominate. This is why I don't like Arcane Mage in this matchup. Jamili just can't get counter pressure. He's always in range of Thugonomics to interrupt him. He's always in range of Smexin to interrupt him. Now finally finding some Arcane Blast. But... Damage just isn't there. Thugonomics and Smexon, they're all over Rub Cub, and Rub Cub really doesn't have too much left to work with. There's a blind on a Gorecki, but he preemptively iron barked the blind. Thug Thugonomics should be completely fine. Things spiraling out of control for M2KC. A lot on the line for this team. The boy's already up one to zero. Rub Cub gets interrupted. He almost has a blessing and protection available to him. Managing to hold on, but mana not looking good. Definitely in favor of the boys at this point. Rub Cub just really struggling to get away. Rub Cub doing his best with basically nothing. And as Sidu was saying, every game with Rub Cub in it is a battle for his life. Putting it up to the absolute final second for his team. But here that might just be the case. It's looking so devastating for M2KC as they try to desperately pull things together. Great crowd control by Rub Cub, but no follow-up. 
Maybe they don't need it. They've managed to pull major defensive cooldowns from Thugonomics in that exchange. They've got the tiniest bit of mana. They've got a Vendetta and a Smoke Bomb in their back pocket. And if they can get a kill with that, it doesn't matter that Rogue Cub's out of mana. They've got one more opportunity. Yep, Smexon still all over Rub Cub. They need a few more mana rifts to just get him completely out of mana. Here's the Smoke Bomb attempt on the Thugonomics. He's got no trinket. Do they have the damage? One Maledic lands. Millie looking to close out the game with a few arcane missiles, but Thugonomics with a Shadow Meld denies the second Gladiator's Maledic. The third one is landed, though, by Rub Cub. A huge offensive push here by M2KC. Greki being caught in the Polymorph. Thugonomics manages to find the reverse magic to free him up. Now Hammer of Justice. Goreki can't really afford to trinket at this point in the game. Thugonomics, though, getting a little bit low. Things are starting to go in favor of M2KC. Rub Cub manages to pull it together here for the team. Goreki may be having a bit of technical issues, which is then a huge opportunity for M2KC if they can close it out here. And I mean, at this point, it is play to win. Their qualifications on the line. Looks like Goreki is back. He's gonna be able to recover quite easily. Thugonomics still low, blind with no trinket. This is a big opening. They have to KO in the stun. Do they have the follow-up hammer of justice? They have to deny darkness. They don't have it. They go for the cheap shot instead. They need to finish him in this. They can't finish Thugonomics. Blur exchanges. Now Rub Cub's behind. Yeah, Rub Cub completely out of basically everything he has available. Divine Favor, Holy Light manages to catch a big heal. Smexin, Thugonomics need a little bit more uptime, but a beautiful polymorph denies Smexin. Nicely done by Jamili. Rub Cub running for his life once again, but with no blessing protection, no divine shield, he could be in some trouble. In the meantime, kitty shot on the Thugonomics. Gorecki denies that with the Iron Bark. The boys manage to hold on. M2KC, they're running out of time. Rub Cub's doing a great job, but it's almost an inevitability at this point that he's gonna fall. All right, let's see what he can do. Once again, Rub Cub battling against all odds and everything on the line. Qualifying to that spring finals for his team. If he can somehow scramble this game together a tad bit longer, opportunity knocks. They just need to win one series today out of three to qualify. Thugonomics, though, is not looking to have that opportunity here. He's jumping in with that metamorphosis, securing double stuns. Rub Cub runs away from the anti-magic zone. Smexin puts him back in, but he's able to retreat. Avenging Wrath comes up in the nick of time for Rub Cub to make a recovery. Yeah, definitely. Nicely done by Rub Cub. Jamili as well stalling out the game. Thugonomics almost has his trinket rotated back up, and he's been the main pressure point for M2KC in this matchup so far. But with that trinket, he's not going to be very vulnerable. Rub Cub with the Avenging Wrath, like you said, he's going to be able to stabilize, but after that, at around 8, 9, 10% dampening and no mana left, Rub Cub's going to really start struggling. Jamili looking for some Arcane Blast, looking for some counter pressure. Gorecki in a good spot, but Gorecki's almost oh. out of mana as well, but I don't think it matters. Rub Cub will eventually fall. Fell Eruption into a bash. The boys go up 2-0 to zero in this series. And that hot 3-0. And send the Mew Mew Kitty Cats to play against the best team in North America in the Super Frogs. Qualifications on the line. Rub Cub's got one more shot in this series and then another one after that in the next series. But of course, if they could just get it right here and now, that would be a quick breath of fresh air for them. Rub Cub gets stunned up early on, intercepted on his cross across the map. Greki gets blinded. They go for a kill on Thugonomics. Smexon denies it with the anti-magic zone. Exchanged fairly for the combustion, but likely Jamili is running reduction of cooldown on that, so he will get it again before the anti-magic zone. That could be the big push if they aren't able to net a kill just very early on as Blur needs to be enough defense for Thugonomics. He ducks around the corner, swiftly avoiding death. Jamili now gets bursted and is on the back foot. Rub Cub exchanges that Avenging Wrath. Big increase of healing, allowing his Holy Lights to stabilize. Maybe not. Jamili is just constantly getting destroyed right now. He has to use Dragon's Breath defensively. Polymorph smacks him, trying Polymorph to dispel, get control of these DPS members, but now they've got no engage onto Gorecki. Perhaps they're looking for a swap to him. This is basically the only option I see. They can maybe bait a trinket on a blind or something along these lines and then switch over. Aside from that, I don't see any openings developing. Yeah, Jamili just trying to spam out as many fireballs as possible, trying to get lots of value out of that fire star starter. Honor talent may just have available. Every time he casts out a fireball, it will be five seconds less on the cooldown of his combustion. So he can spam that out. And then all of a sudden, the combustion is desynced with the anti-magic zone. In the meantime, though, Jamili caught into an imprisonment. Gorecki could be in some trouble. Uses the bar skin. Roasties all over him. Jamili's still really low. If there's crowd control on the rub cub, 
Chameleon might be forced into his cauterize or potentially his first ice block, but no M2KC, they do manage to stabilize. The only thing they got from that push was bark skin. M2KC continue to fall behind, and it's looking likely to be a rematch against the Super Frogs, although don't want to count them out just yet. The Stugonomics gets bursted heavily. Jamili looks to secure crowd control. Blinks, but gets denied. Good interruption by Smexen. Jamili now falls behind. Rub Cub looking to recover, but with War Mastery, his only defensive cooldown at the moment, it may not be enough. He may have to use the ultimate sacrifice here shortly if Thugonomics can stay on target. Jamili trying to reposition. Thugonomics continuing the mana rifts. Roasty's rooted up, unable to connect. Jamili still being pressured. Cauterize Ice Block available as well. They want to hold on to that as long as they can. Rub Cub's being pressured. Gorecki gets swapped to by Roasty's, or maybe he's setting Jamili up for crowd control. It's not exactly certain. Jamili's too far away to support that attack. He gets gripped downstairs, out of line of sight. Huge damage to follow that up. Relying heavily on Rub Cub's support with Avenging Wrath coming up in one more second. He needs to connect a big heal here and now to hold on to that Cauterize. Managing to dance with it dangerously, holding out, and they managed to. Rub Cub once again battling for his life. Definitely in it. 40% mana. Things are starting to slip out of his fingertips. In the meantime, Delta Ergonomics caught into a kidney shot. Good damage here from M2KC. Gorecki not over responding to the situation. You can see Thugonomics. He still has so many defensive cooldowns. He can rotate through the boys. They managed to hold on to all their trinkets despite that very scary moment. Rub Cub now looking for a holy light. Doesn't have the healing though to keep Jamili alive as he dips lower. Finally catching a big heal. Another kidney shot onto Thugonomics. This is a combustion. Big damage available for M2KC. Thugonomics not messing around. Round. Trinkets out. Iron Bark going to be committed by Gorecki. That'll keep him afloat. And now the boys need to start getting some damage rolling. Uh. M2KC's mana is not doing too hot. Gorecki trinkets out of the blind. And now M2KC, there is an opening. Thugonomics with no trinket. If he gets caught into a stun lock, could fall. Still low. Dancing around the map. Trying to survive. Kiting with Gorecki. Gorecki has to play catch up in this situation. But no one from the boys has a trinket now. No one gladiator's medallion in sight. And if M2KC can pull it off, get one nice clean setup, they could close out the game. All right, let's see if they can do it. Qualifications on the line here. It's match point in their first attempt of the day. Jamili is just getting owned still as Rub Cub holds on barely with not much to work with in terms of healing output. Another Gladiator's Maledict absorbing more of Rub Cub's healing. He's caught in the stun by Thugonomics. That's a double. This could be the Cauterize if Smexin can push through with a tiny bit more damage. Rub Cub powers through it with Holy Light after Holy Light. And getting interrupted by line of sight. Jamili goes for the kill. Drops in that Meteor. Not enough damage to even scratch Thugonomics. Gorecki may be sitting down for a drink while his team has all of the momentum. And if Gorecki stabilizes back to full mana, not sure what M2KC is going to do. Instead, crowd controlling Rub Cub in desperation to get the cauterized. Gorecki is still very low on mana, potentially an opportunity for M2KC to find victory. Avenging Wrath up right at the last possible second for Rub Cub once again to hold on to the cauterize. A close call, miracle after miracle for M2KC to even still be alive. Yep, good damage there from Jamili on the Thugonomics, but Gorecki in a prime position. And somehow, some way, M2KC has actually swung mana in their favor. Innervate being used by Gorecki, trying to throw out some expensive heals to keep Thugonomics nice and stable. But still, Thugonomics has been forced to run away, and this is what we've kind of seen. If you pressure the Demon Hunter enough, you can't afford to be pushing in, getting the consistent stuns onto Rub Cub, and that's just an opportunity for the healer to keep his mana as long as possible. Another swing towards Thugonomics, not even a dent. Rub Cub once again on the ropes. Gorecki's crowd control. This has to be the opportunity for M2KC to develop pressure, but Thugonomics denies it, crowd controlling two members of the team. Rub Cub opts to Divine Shield to avoid the mana rift, realizing that that tiny bit of mana he's got left, he has to protect it more than his own health so that his partners do not fall behind. Vendetta now available, but all the defense of the boys is as well. It would have to be a blunder for the boys to go down. Let's see if M2KC can make them choke here. Thugonomics dips low, jumps into the battle with that metamorphosis, reverse magic available for Ring of Frost should he land it. They're not even able to get it. Jamili on the back foot now once again. Very low on health. Thugonomics as well. Could be a bit of a race to the finish here as Cauterize is likely to trigger. Ultimate Sacrifice denies the Cauterize with last second left, but now they switch their attention to Roasties. Perhaps he should have just exchanged evasion. I don't think that Rub Cub has the mana to heal three members of the team through this much pressure that much longer and still no openings. Yep, there are no openings for M2KC. Everyone has their Gladiators medallions available. Double Dragon's Breath by Jamili. He's looking to try to create some space. Rub Cub gets gripped in. Jamili looking to counter pressure, but Rub Cub is in so much trouble. He doesn't have anything at 10% dampening. Looking to kite away on the Divine Steed, but Thugonomics says no way. Sending M2. 
feed versus the fake zebras. We're all tied up one and one. Who is going to find themselves on match point? Who is going to get a little bit further into this tournament? Keep in mind, folks, we're doing a brand new thing. You have just entered in the middle of history the longest series that has ever been played in battle for Azeroth. 